Hi folks, I'm Maverick and this is the 2020 Rogue Glide Limited in Billard Red and Vivid Black. We're going to take you on a walk around on the bike, a couple of my favorite features and some of the things that make this such a wonderful riding machine. Okay folks, starting at the front of the machine, the most distinctive feature of the Rogue Glide is the Shark Nose Ferry. The big difference between this and a street glide is the fact that this fairing is mounted to the frame, not to the forks and handlebars. That increases your stability at speed and the aerody aerodynamically designed uh, fairing will cut through the, the wind better and increase your stability on the highway. Now, in the headlights here, you have dual Daymaker headlights with Harley emblems inside them, a nice little feature. Moving down, you'll have the Slicer two wheels on this particular machine. They are in vivid black. And then moving farther back, you have your lower fairings with dual radiators. Moving to the side of the machine, we have all blacked out accents on this bike instead of chrome. On this colorway, the billard red and vivid black, everything is going to be black that would normally be chrome. It kind of completes the look and smooths over your entire blacked out mean experience. This, this bike, the Limited, has rubber mounted floorboards, reduces your vibration while riding. It also has linked brakes. So at speed, when you use one brake, it will activate both. The Rogue Glide Limited has the 114 cubic inch engine for the ultimate in touring performance and smoothness on the ride. The passenger floorboards are also rubberized for increased passenger comfort. And the saddlebags are the one touch opening system to make accessing your gear on the bike and off the bike much easier. Moving a little bit farther back, we have a full tour pack for all your touring needs, all the, all the luggage you could want, as well as a factory installed luggage rack up top. That way when you have wet clothes or an extra bag or anything like that, you can strap that down and it's not a problem. From the back of the Rogue Glide Limited, you have a clear view of your integrated tail light on the tour pack for increased visibility while braking. Always a nice thing not to get hit from behind. Farther down, you have your other tail light and then you have a very nice view of your adjustable suspension in the rear. That easy adjust suspension helps you dial in for your uh, touring performance uh, according to the weight you're carrying with the bike. That could be full gear and a passenger or just you. You also have a nice view of your blacked out uh, exhaust, dual exhaust on this bike. Uh, stock sounds great and there's always options to upgrade in the future. Moving up the left side of the motorcycle, we again have a one touch saddlebag your crash bar for the occasional drop in a parking lot. Again, rubber mounted uh, foot controls. You have the single toe shifter on these 2020 models. Again, all your accents are going to be blacked out on this particular bike. On other color schemes, you will have chrome accents. You, we also have a nice view of your nine position heated grips. So you can really dial in exactly how cold you are and how long you've been riding for. My favorite thing about the Rogue Glide Limited is the cockpit. Because of the uh, frame mounted fairing and the forward position of it, it's a very open and pleasant place to be. Uh, the Rogue Glide Limited has painted inner fairings with storage on both sides. This, the right hand side, has a USB so that you, your phone is charged when you get where you're going. Always a nice feature. You have Boom GTS uh, audio and your full touchscreen display. We'll step into that in a minute. Otherwise, in this cockpit, you have a clear view of your traction control system, the RDR system, which this bike is optioned with, uh, and all the other blacked out nice features that really complete the look of this bike from the passenger seat or from the driver's seat. Uh, another thing to note is the seat itself. This is a touring seat, it is one of the most comfortable places I have sat all day and I, uh, I might not get off of it. From the cockpit, we can also access our infotainment center. We're gonna flip over into accessory mode here so that we can get a nice clear view of that. As you can see over previous models, it's a much faster system. 
we have our music, which can be controlled by joysticks on the handlebars. I need to find a better radio station, but that's all right. Or you can use your touchscreen. Of course, please use the touchscreen while you're sitting still. Uh, it's actually much easier to use joysticks on the road anyways. You have full navigation. And you can find the nearest Harley dealership with a pu pu push of a button. And it happens to be us here at Tobacco Road Harley Davidson. We're gonna back on out of that since we're already here. You also have Bluetooth on your phone that you can play music off your phone. It's a great system. It's been on years past, but this current generation system has been uh, a pleasure to use. You can also get into the settings of the bike and your audio settings very easily. You can find information on the bike. That's why it's called an infotainment system because it not only entertains you on the road, you get all the information you need about the bike. Tire pressure monitoring is a great thing. Anybody that rides motorcycles a lot knows that your tire pressure can make a huge difference on your ride. This is Tobacco Road Harley Davidson.